outfit. I'm wearing a Girlfriend Collective set with a Chaley sweatshirt. This is like one of my favorite sweatshirts that I wear all the time. And then I got these New Balances on sale on Essence and they are just super comfortable. Kumo can just tell by our body language and like when we put on our shoes and everything when he needs to go into his crate and he's just waiting for me to treat him. Good boy, Bobby. You stay here, okay? I'll be back. I don't bring Kumo on my walks because he does not walk. Like he will not walk with me. He just stands there. So I end up having to carry him and like the sling with the weight on one shoulder for like an hour is just a little too much. So I wanna try to make another sling in sewing class. <sighs> wow, I'm panting. I wanna try to make another sling in sewing class that's like two straps so that it's even distributed weight because he's like six pounds now, which he was like five before, but the extra pound really adds a lot. And when you're walking for an hour, it's not comfortable. So I don't take him on my walks. So I just leave him here because he's just better that way. from my walk. I only did like 40 minutes because I have to come back and get ready. I did like four, a little over 4,000 steps, which is not bad, but I'm coming back to get ready for some appointments in downtown in West Hollywood. I'm going to two showrooms because Josh has like a black tie gala thing this weekend and I needed to loan a dress because I don't have any gowns to wear. But I thought I would take this opportunity to kind of talk about my feelings, my thoughts, my symptoms, my just like everything that's going on in the first trimester. I'm now at 10 weeks. We've been using a couple apps to track my pregnancy. The first one we were using is called What to Expect. It's really cute. It just like tells you the size of your baby. You guys have probably seen this if you follow other moms. Um, I know I have seen this. There's also like articles and forums that you can read and just like tools to help you. Registry, due date calendar, ovulation calendar. So this one's pretty cute. There's another one we just downloaded the other day called Pregnancy Plus. Okay, this one is so detailed, <laughs> like it's insane. And it gives you kind of like a timeline, like you can see when you should go into the doctor and what kind of like tests and scans and screenings you should get. So it's very detailed. And then look at this like baby like fetus photo it's so detailed look at that you guys it's kind of creepy <laughs> but it's pretty amazing you can really see like how the baby is starting to form and this week the fingers have separated the fingers and toes and so you can start to see like little hands and then as the weeks progress like you obviously see more of the transition of the the baby and like how it's forming this one is super detailed. Other things I've been feeling, I've been starting to break out a lot. Like I am mentioning this because I'm not complaining. I just am saying that I never really suffered from breakouts. So I've just been having like small pimples here and there. And I'm just like the type of person that when I see a pimple, I have to pop it and it's not good. <laughs> so I'm breaking out a little bit. I've been very fatigued, like I mentioned before. I've been urinating a lot, like almost twice as much as I used to. I get up every night at like 3 a.m. to pee. Cravings I've been having, I've been really craving burgers. I don't know why, but burgers have just been my thing. Other than that, I haven't had anything like really negative to say. I've been really lucky with the nausea. I've had close to no nausea and I have not thrown up once, thankfully. So I feel very lucky in that sense because I hear about some woman and friends that have gone through pregnancies that have had like terrible, terrible nausea. This color looks so dark on me right now. So those are pretty much some of my symptoms and how I've been feeling. In terms of how I've been feeling like mentally and emotionally, I haven't really like been feeling that great, honestly. Like I feel pretty down sometimes. I think because this first trimester feels very isolating because I can't really talk about it. I feel like I have this huge secret that I can't tell anyone about. Not that many people know in my life right now. Obviously Josh knows. My older sister knows, her husband knows, my best friend Shane knows, only because we were supposed to go meet up my dad in Vietnam a few weeks back. 
I was supposed to take this like amazing trip to Asia, but I ended up having had to cancel like after we had booked all of our flights, all of our hotels. Luckily it was all refundable, but I had to cancel it because after talking to the doctor and discussing like risks of Zika virus, Josh and I just decided that it just wasn't worth the risk, which was such a bummer, but it's okay. I feel like Asia will always be there and I can go later. But anyway, other than that, those are the only people that know. And I'm planning to tell my little sister this weekend. But other than that, that's all the people I'm planning to tell for the next few weeks. I'm already in week 10, so hopefully the next few more weeks go by pretty quickly and then we can plan our announcement and tell more people and it will just be way more exciting. But yeah, right now it just feels very sad because I am going through all this stuff like physically, mentally, emotionally, and I just can't really talk about it with anyone. Also, it doesn't help that Josh has been out of town for work a lot. It's not that common that he goes out of town for work. Like he's usually always home, but he started a trial when I found out I was pregnant. And then next month, October, he's gonna be gone for like three weeks for a lawyer's like seminar out in Colorado. So I'm gonna have to like really keep myself busy, really hang out with my sisters a lot and just try to make the weeks go by a little faster. He does come back like for one weekend in between and then we have our first trimester ultrasound, which is very exciting. It's apparently that one's gonna be like way more detailed. You can see like the baby's face and like facial features and yeah. I'm always like short of breath. Like I just like talk and then I become short of breath. <laughs> That's another symptom that I'm going through. All in all, I'd say I've had a pretty easy, good, positive experience so far, aside from the fact that sometimes I just feel a little sad. Maybe it's the hormones. But yeah, I feel like this is such an exciting time for me, but I can't say anything. I wanna like go on top of a mountain and like shout it out to the world. <laughs> but I cannot be doing that yet. So that's why it just feels a little, I don't know. I don't know what, what other word to use than isolating. Just isolating feels like the perfect word. I literally cannot wait until I can get my hair done again. Doctor said that dyeing my hair is fine, but I should probably just wait until the first trimester is over. Okay, enough rambling. I am gonna change real quick and then I need to eat something before we leave because I'm gonna be starving. ritual powder a scoop of this and then I blend it in the Nutribullet and it just comes out perfectly. Mm. I just finished editing some stuff for skins. I'm really excited. I just signed a contract with them and I'm doing a post for the next few months. Come on. I'm vlogging here. So I just edited my first post for that which is really exciting. I, it gives me a little anxiety though because it's a lot of like underwear and I feel like I have to show a lot of my body and my body is like slowly changing. So I feel like people are gonna know or like catch on. So there's that, <laughs> but I'm really grateful and excited to work with Skims. I love their stuff. I have my second sewing class today. Today we're making a tote. So I have to go to Joanne's fabric and get some fabric for that. But we're making a little tote like this. I'm so excited. Third class we're doing, we're making pajama pants. <laughs> So that'll be fun. And then the last class is a cosmetic bag, I guess. I'm pretty much caught up on emails and work and then the house is pretty clean, I would say. But yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy. I have my sewing class and then I'm probably gonna get some takeout because I didn't have time to grocery shop. I have a gift card to Tokaya, so I might pick that up.
opposite. 